Welcome back everyone, my name is Joe and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your very own Minecraft server on your desktop for Java Edition 7. All the information I'm going to be talking about in this video is going to be down below in the description and while you're down there, please like and subscribe, it would be much appreciated. So then, down below in the description you'll see the uh, minecraft.net link to the server page where you can get the files to download it. Now on this page you will see uh, the main download link here, so we're going to click download. And there is a wiki tutorial if you need to look up anything else while we're there. It is done. So now on your desktop, we can make any folder, just call it whatever you want. I've just called my Minecraft server. Click on it, and if you're on Windows, you should be able to get access to your downloads over here. We're going to copy the file over, go back to the file there, and paste it just like that. Now, there is two ways to start this server. You can just click on the jar file or you can make a special batch, uh, Windows batch file where you can allocate more resources to the server by increasing the RAM. So we'll just stick to the jar and I'll show you how to make one of them up in a minute. So let's start the server. It will generate some files and then it will shut down. Nothing will pop up. There we go. That's all the files there. It needs you to except the EULA. In this text document, EULA.txt, we need to click edit, and as you can see here, it says false. Now, I would recommend to go and read if you are running a, a public Minecraft server. It would be best, so you're, so you're clear on the rules. So, we're gonna delete that, and we're gonna type in true, just like that, and then save it and then close it out and now double click the jar file and give it a second just to load and we are up and running as you can see here it's generated the world and we're ready to join your very own minecraft server so then click on multiplayer go to direct connect type in localhost as your ip address and join and there we go we are in our very own world so you can do whatever you want in here. You can go into creative and so on. So let's say you want to add some more resources to your server. So we need to stop this server here. Turn it off just like that by typing stop. And now the next thing we need to do is make a uh, text file. So we're going to new or text document new. Don't bother calling it anything yet. Open it up and go back to the Minecraft server page. And as you can see here, there's some purple writing right here. We need to copy that and paste that in this file just like that. Now, very important, two very important things now. That server jar name there, server.jar, needs to match this right here. So you can change that one or change this one, it's completely up to you. So as long as it's got the correct name, dot .jar, we should be all good. Now, if you want to increase the RAM, you'll be changing these two numbers. Just multiply it by 2, 3, 4, and that will give your answer for how much uh, RAM you want to do it. So if you want to put in 2 gig, so it's going to be, uh, we'll do it on this one, so that's 2048. And this one. 2048 so now, now that server is running on two gigabytes next very important thing save as doesn't matter whatever you want to call it i like to call my run you can call your start or go but as long as you've got on the end dot b a t save exit out on that and as you can see here it's generated a windows batch file double click on it and it will run. So there we go. It's running and it's going. So perfect. And as you can see here, we can rejoin the server and everything's back to normal. Perfect. Now, if this didn't pop up or the other one didn't pop up, you might need to update your Java. There is a video down below in the description of one of my own, and that will explain to you how to uninstall and reinstall the correct Java for running this software. And that is pretty much it. If you do want your friends to join, you will need to port forward. I will link a video down below in the description to another YouTuber 
who uh, I think does a very good, decent uh, explanation on how to port ward so you can get your friends to join the server. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and turn on that notifications. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.